a nice early start today. I'm going to sneak in a quick uh, half hour to one of those walks where, uh, you know, I hopefully I'm going to hit 15 minute pace for two miles. I just can't do enough of those. They don't take much energy out of me. And, uh, and then I got to go hit swimming. So early start, I like early starts. So I'm getting in the, getting back in the groove. I'm feeling, uh, definitely recovering a lot from the, uh, from the quadruple bad word and that takes it takes a while it, it's shocking how long it takes but it's it's coming around so okay fired up Yeah, so I just finished my master swim and I swam two masters last last week so for like an hour uh, each time and it's like amazing how I can already be getting my fitness back when I took so much time off of swimming and um, I don't know it was like shocking when I first was trying I was like dying the for just this was just last week the first workout I was like oh my god I'm dying and then it's like this is only three I'm only doing two a week uh, and this is my third one I was like wow I'm not dying this time and I, I mean, I literally almost took a year off uh, from swimming other than swimming with my uh, my coach and uh, my swim coach, but we would just do like 20, 25 minute swims. And that was kind of hit or miss. We didn't really have a, you know, a whole bunch of those in a row. And, uh, and so how fast the fitness comes back is like, it's pretty shocking. It's, uh, for me, it's really shocking. But I think what happened was, He's got my stroke so much better than what it used to be. And I'm telling you, I'm not like Michael Phelps or anything, but compared to what I was, I've improved so much that if you're not, you know, dragging in the water real bad and, uh, you know, you just seem like you can, you just, you can get fit and get quicker faster. Anyway, it'll be interesting to see. All I know was this swim was fun <laughs> instead of like a suffer -a -thon. One workout down, woo, moving on. So I had a challenging afternoon, at least for me, always challenging. I do paperwork. I had to work on my taxes. I took an extension and I had to work on them like all afternoon for like hours. It was like horrible, but I tell myself, oh, I really like doing taxes. <laughs> anyway, I, I was really drained and I got out and I did my uh, two mile walk. And, you know, I'm trying to hold that 15 minute pace just to keep locking that in. I learned about this, you know, this is outside of my coach's workouts. I hope I can sell her on it. But I'm, uh, I, there was a guy, my friend ran at Humboldt uh, when he was in college. And there, and there was a guy on the team that used to do the team's workout. And then he would go out and do a, like a three to four mile run uh, in the evening, you know, just by himself every night. And uh, so he did, you know, three to four hour, didn't take a long time. Those guys can run fast in college, you know, what's that, a half hour, you know, uh, 35 minutes or something. And uh, he was number one on the team, number one guy on the team. So I keep, you know, I do my coach's workout and I, if I got the juice in the evening, I'm gonna go out and do this uh, two mile walk or do it early in the morning and do my coach's workout in the afternoon. Uh, and it's, it's amazing how uh, like taxes can drain you and then you, uh, and then you get moving for two miles and, and, and you feel like, wow, I can't even remember that I was tired. <laughs> and now I'm going to yoga. <laughs> Freaking love yoga, man. It's like, uh, I don't know, it's a weakness for me, the stretching. It's kind of, it, you know, if you wanted to be embarrassed, you could, if you're like the, the stiffest guy in the class by far. But I choose not to be embarrassed. And I'm really enjoying it. So this will be, like, the guy's, like, amazed. I'm, I've, I'm on a streak of, you know, God, I think I've made, like, eight of nine days. I'm looking at signing up for a yearly membership. That'll really motivate me to get in there, to get my value. Anyway. Fun, fun day so far. That's what I'm telling myself. Love it.
All right, just finished up yoga. That was, I didn't know that was an hour and a half class. It was a long one, but it was like really good for me. It had all these, po you know, like it was mellow. Like you can tell I'm mellow again. And but long poses and deep and uh, there's this one called the pigeon and it like anyway it was the one the teacher came back by me and, and gives me personal instruction like is that as far as you can go down I go yeah that's why but that's why I'm here because <laughs> I'm so damn stiff <laughs> but that was like getting into my hips which really big which is gonna be that's what I need to release my uh, to release me for doing, uh, you know, to walk faster and, and run faster. I know for sure it's helping me to walk faster right now. I don't know about for sure the running, but I'm sure it's going to help that too. I'm just not doing that much of it. I'm really focusing on uh, on the walking more than anything. And uh, But yeah, so the yoga is like, I don't know, it's fantastic, man. It mellows me out. It's like I'll probably sleep really good tonight because I'm up there like, whoa, mellow. <laughs> So I was thinking, I go, you know, it was like 27 years ago, I used to close the, the night out by drinking. <laughs> and now I'm like, now I'm like up there, oming, om. <laughs> we didn't actually om tonight, but but I have, but uh, most of the time they om. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, it's it's just a different lifestyle now. It's like way different. And it's, uh, and I enjoy this. It's just different. Anyway. Have a good night. Closing this one out. Well, no, no, not yet. I'm going to go home because I'm like, I actually got like, I've, I've eaten too little today. I'm at like 1,450 calories and I think I got to get at least another 100 in me, but I am getting used to functioning on less calories. And my buddy told me that before. That was one of his big things is uh, where he dropped a bunch of weight. He says, you just start getting used to, uh, your body gets used to having less calories and it just start learns to function on it. And your weight just really starts to drop then. So looking forward to that part. <laughs> but I am definitely getting away with less calories now and still getting in like three workouts. But, you know, the swim was intense this morning, but the the rest of it was pretty, you know, not, not super hard. But, um, but it was still three hours. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, three hours. All right. Yeah, I just got home and... Uh... I was checking my calories and I don't know, I wasn't that hungry today. It's kind of weird how that happens. And I was a little over 1400 calories. So I just had a banana and some chicken, get myself up near about at least 1600. I just don't want to be a lot less than that. But tomorrow's the big day. If I do wake up and I'm not real close to the uh, to my weight, I'm going for 202 this week. And, and I like I said, when I, get, when I get done and hit my weight, I do, I eat, have a binge day, and uh, and I, it puts me way up. And then I, you know, I got like seven, eight pounds up, and then I start dropping down. And if I'm not within a couple pounds tomorrow, um, I'll just fast the whole day. I did good on that fast last last week. I got I got all my my stuff in, you know, my workouts in, and I didn't die. So so I'll, I'm mentally mentally I need to prepare tonight though that I'm going to be ready to fast tomorrow so that I'm mentally prepared to do it. And since I did it, did it the week before, it makes it a little easier. Once you've done it once, you know you can do it. So anyway, we'll see what happens in the morning. But right now, I get another X. You can see where this starts to add up. And when I keep these X's going all the way over here to, 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 to Scobia, if I keep these X's going all the way to, to Scobia, I think I'm gonna be pretty, I'm gonna be ready. I'm gonna be really, really ready, really ready. Have a good